some free camera distortion probably from <laughs> confusing for them um, and you know normally I talk over all that in my videos I, I, I don't talk over it I play over it I just play and and I aim my stuff at skilled players I already know all that stuff you know so they see how the amp all the mad skills they see how the amps react to my hands and they are all already know yeah, yeah they know what's going on you know so I don't I don't have to use all those words you know but that's a big one now the edge of breakup Right? Mm -hmm. What's another one that people well, like? Well, why? What is that all about? Right? Do you hear the guitar? I hear it. If I hit the guitar hard, it breaks up a little bit, all right? I don't know, ever hit a guitar this hard, but the camera's back there, so. But what they're talking about is the way the amp makes it do it, right? And now if I play it real soft. That's with no amplification at all. Yeah, see, it won't break up down here. But you know, touch a breakup, right? So, I mean, where it comes from is basically, where everything comes from is playing a guitar that's unplugged. I mean, that's where the beauty of everything comes from. That's yeah. what you're amplifying. Yeah, you can literally, if you have a really good guitar, even if you're a copycat guitarist and you're sitting there playing and your guitar is really good and you're playing a solo from something of your music or someone else's music or whatever, that's got some raging fuzz or whatever, like say the solo to Pearl Necklace or something, and wow, it sounds just like it, but, but it isn't. It doesn't have any of that equipment on it. But the guitar can always sound like that because, because it, it, if it's good, if it's not like some kind of, I don't know, I hate to word, use the word heavy metal stuff, but if it's some kind of real scratchy sounding stuff that doesn't really come from the guitar to begin with, a lot of guitar sounds are like that, and if you like them, good for you, but a lot of those guitar sounds don't really come from a good well, sounding don't, guitar. Don't get you started on what it means to even have a great guitar to start with. Right, so anyway, <laughs> what I was saying was, since most of that stuff derives from a good guitar, if you just sit here playing your guitar by yourself, it sort of sounds like that, you know? Uh, there's no, oh, am I at the edge of breakup, or am I clean, or how clean am I, or... You know, do I have Marshall distortion? Do I have Fender pre CBS? Do I have do you need tweed back? distortion? Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, it's it's all in here. It's all right here in a good guitar, you know. So, and then you bring amps into the situation, and 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 you know, most of them weren't up to the task. Old amps were not very good, right? Well, we would think that they would improve over time. Well, they do, and some of them don't, but. The bottom line is, this thing they're talking about online, I guess, see, I don't know, because I don't go on there and look, but we had a guy in here the other day, you know, kept using that word, like, wanting me to explain it, and, and he didn't play guitar, right, but he hangs around with a lot of guitar players, so it's impossible for me, and I don't like to talk about this kind of stuff, because I'm after guitar players, I already know all this stuff, so, but, you know, just to clarify all this for people, like what what are my amps all about well what does this game master do in relation to all these things right well for instance keeping that weird buzzword edge of breakup into the conversation okay you would take all these inadequate amps like tweeds and stuff and you know they're all different wattages so keep in mind to these guys that were asking me this question the speaker in that amp matching the amp is all part of it too okay 
There's an exact wattage for each one of those amps. So you get your Champ, your Princeton, you know, and they all move up. So you get to the big, I'm just staying with tweeds for conversation. Okay? Champ and Princeton, you get to the, single end. Yeah. You get to the big um, twin, okay? And, and um, each one of these amps, if you turn it up to that thing, and that's not just the thing, because we did that. Guitarists like that are older, that, that's how we use that stuff and there's a reason for it. I'm gonna explain that in a second like here. testing the limits of your equipment? Yeah, there's a reason for it. So, each one has its own wattage and it needs to be turned up to right where it's starting to distort. And then you can clean up the guitar by backing it down here a little bit, okay? And if you pull it all the way up, it's just breaking into distortion a little bit. But there's inherently two things wrong with that but not wrong at all if they don't bother you, okay? In other words, if these two things that I say are wrong with that, I'm using the word wrong loosely here, and they don't apply to you, then there's nothing wrong with it at all. Something okay? amiss. It's just, some to some guys, it would be unacceptable, okay? And what that would be is wherever, say, the wattage of that particular amp is, you're stuck at that volume now. Well, that's one thing right off the bat. We're not even going to get into that because that's so beginnerish it isn't funny because every one of those amps, you want to, if you want to live by that edge of breakup sword on, on, if you want to live by that sword on, on, in Boston we say sword, not sword. <laughs> if you want to live by that, okay, then, you know, you, you'd need a different amp for every gig or wherever you're playing or whatever, right? Or but, different amps. So what are, what are the two things that are wrong with that? Well, one is... When you back this down to get clean from there, it's a different kind of clean. You're losing a lot of frequency response from your pickups when you come off of 10, which is wonderful, great sounds occur there, clean or especially distorted. I mean, really wonderful sounds come there when you're really pushing an amp, like pushing an amp hard beyond this edge of breakup thing, it gets even more fun, okay? But then that, super clean thing is gone too like where i'm playing right here that's gone that just disappears because you can't you if you turn the guitar to 10 it obviously starts distorting right so you lose those two things and again like i said before if losing the beginners because this guy was a beginner and he, these people get angry he's not angry but they get aggravated with me because i don't explain these things to them right because i'm really in the I'm, way that you would want to explain yeah right or the way they want to hear it you know but so you know you, you're going to lose that that super clean sound that some people want and need. So that's where two, two amp systems came into being where you know you have your very clean amp and then your other amp. And then if you're doing this edge of breakup thing, the, uh, the second problem being that you don't have anything beyond that. So the edge of breakup, is that something that's you, related to the overdriven sound? Yeah, you don't have anything beyond that either, okay? Beyond that edge of breakup, because your volume's all the way up and your guitar's plugged straight into your amp. So now you'd have to do what Beck and Clapton and, and all those guys did through history is put something in front of that now and push that amp. Like a pedal. Yeah, and it's not a distortion pedal per se because you're using it to, you, you pick one that you like the sound of those guys did and you're using it to drive the amp, to make the amp, you know, to push the amp into it. But the problem is the reason why you didn't push the amp into that just from the volume control on the amp is why. Why didn't you just push the amp then? Why do you... Why is this magical edge of breakup blah, 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 shit, right? What is that really all about? You tell me, Bob. Okay, because the amp sounds ugly when you turn it all the way up. It's got horrible push oh, buttons. Okay, push in it. Right it's got terrible sounds in it. And this is where this came from. I'm trying to... It hurts your ears. Us old guys all understand that. The amp gets nasty. It gets coffee, wheezy, push-pull distortion sounds. And then you've got guys with mad skills who develop mad skills in their hands to make them sound good there because they need that that extra more even more breakup so you know and that's okay too if you spend your whole life you know coaxing the amp not to allow those sounds to get so nasty but think about the rest of the things you can be doing with your hands like like my single ended amps don't have that in them and the best push pull amps okay a little a lot less of that but it's still always there it's a push pull amp right what do you think is the best so push -pull so what happens is a lot of guys will 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 play my amps and if they're real skilled players, the first thing they realize is they don't have to compensate for that ugly sound, no matter how hard they push the amp, whether they're using the Game Master or turning the amps up or whatever, you know? Is that why so, people always act like they've been like 
shocked or bit by a snake when they first play Rio? That's if they're a good player. That's the first thing they're 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 sensing is they no longer have to control that aspect of their tone. You know, and which the is response time. Yeah, we all started learning how to do that very young. I mean, we didn't concentrate on it or think about it, but it, it was that way. So that's that magical age of breakup that people talk about, or, or that you tell me that they're talking about. I don't even know. I don't go on there and read that kind of crap. I played all those amps. I already know. All right. So then he wanted me to demonstrate that with my game master, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the game master is is kind of a legendary thing, and, and people what's are it very curious about it. It's for achieving cranked amp tone at any volume. At any volume, all right. So if it can, can if it can achieve the tone of a cranked amp, like fully cranked without that ugly distortion, obviously because it's my system. And you can even still speak over. Then it's can it do the other thing? Can it achieve the sound of an amp just at the edge of distortion? Well, it seems yeah, like it well, achieves every tone you want It can want do it that. To. It can do that and do this thing where, where when I don't have it on at all, it's totally clean. And that's with the volume all the way up with all your frequency response. setup if you're using the game master because where chances are these amp, if you brought these amps up to the edge of breakup it's going to be pretty loud it's too loud for, for you know so but but if you if you're playing in a stadium it's not and and then you, you know you'd run it there but so so now even modulating from there clean sounds can be real nice <laughs> response off any time you crack the volume back which is again a wonderful thing when you start bringing distortion into play it's beautiful and uh, but it loses that bold and you guys already know this you don't need me to tell you I'm trying to talk to beginners here that that don't know how to use all this stuff yet or don't even know what it is you know like the guy that was asking me questions the other day right so um, that's 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 pretty much that so so now let's say I stepped on that game master right now. Well, where's it set? I'm going to tell you where it's set. The gain is literally on eight o'clock. It's Which barely. Is, it's almost off. Okay. Like the amps are right now. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with volume. That's the gain control. The volume control on the game master is halfway up, which is neutral to the incoming clean sound, no matter how much gain you have. Which is another whole thing that that can be used too to drive the amps more to do. But if you're using it as a as, as a hinge point for all your sounds, then where it is right now is is neutral to off. Okay, so if if and I were to turn it on, it would be edge of breakup uh, with uh, with the same volume. <laughs> frequency response on these clean sounds.
to set this amp where an amp fully turned up would be, but it's not going to get any louder because we're going through the Game Master now. I would bring that gain control up and it's uh, your choice of where, but for me, I never like a tremendous amount of gain because I really never like much more than an amp would have gotten on its own. And then if I want more, I don't like tube gain for more than that. I like something um, that sounds a little stranger, like some germanium fuzz or something, put it dropped in front of that, right? Well, there so, it is. So if I were to turn this, this gain control now up to around 11 o'clock, right? That, that uh, MXR I have on is pulsing through the air. That's a pink. I'm going to leave it off for a second, then I'm going to shut it off, right? But Because if I shut it off now, then I, I won't, wouldn't have had the same sound going for the thing. Okay. I should have shut it off. For before, comparison. But I didn't, all right? So,
with something other than uh, the ants. The, the game master, which is simulating a crank death. Let's say you want to step on some fuzz from there. <laughs> Good right now it's about 23 minutes so we're okay. so the, we should follow we should finish up this topic and we'll yeah, go so on to that the topic any of your questions video. i don't know but um it should edge break up how the game master works what, what's that brown thing you pushed on the copper colored thing oh that's an old uh script logo um um uh phase 45 right <laughs> topic that we should probably take up some point is your minimalist pedal board with a room for guest pedals yeah, in the front. Everybody has their own thing, what they like. Me, um, we got your switching, so, your game yeah, master, your fuzz, that's your it. And delay, I'll put, I'll and then your guest pedals. I'll put a different color pedals. effect on different days. I'll just pick it up and put it on there. Because I, I don't really use them much. But um, but you have room for several of them yeah, in the front there. My, my, my big thing is playing in stereo. It comes from you know how I grew up you know, watching a lot of really skilled guitar players usually played in stereo. Cause they and had you have a they, whole other video on that too. They had what they called echo amp, which was an amp that the delay was on, so it didn't interfere with the sound, you know. Like if I shut my, I got the delay only on one amp here. So if this head through this cap um, is going, um, we're gonna go back to a game master driven sound just to show you this. Set this guitar up on around eight. <laughs>
and I turn this amp on, this one has the delay, right? I'm going to set it at the same around eight. resonates with twice as many little incidentals in the room. <laughs> yeah. But, lose, but I see the, the difference between the two amps yeah, and the one the amp directness. with delay. The one amp with delay is like two amps on, only they're just a little off. They're the same exact tone. But when you add the other amp, you get two tones that well, are mixed it's, together. It's what the, it feels like in your playing. When, when you have delay on, you lose that, that initial impact. You know, No matter how you set them, they hurt your initial tone a little bit. Well, we should probably end this tone talk with just one question, which is yes. the edge of delays or the edge, edge of, of breakup break, thing. Edge of breakup. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole idea of it, it's it's a little bit different with your amps, it seems like to me, because your amps could go very, very high, clean, with no breakup. Unless you... Yeah. It, it, yeah. Right. So you could get a super huge, just clean tone. Um, if you didn't care about that breakup thing. But if you do want it, it's all there with the Game right, Master. That's one of the two things you lose. And it has the other thing, too. Because you could set the Game Master for, like, a fully cranked amp, not just edge of breakup. And even at volumes, you could almost right. speak over. And at either setting, you could add things in front of the Game Master, and it takes it as if it was straight into an amp. The front end of the Game Master responds to all your favorite effects that you would drive an amp with anyway. You know. Well, there's a lot of other things we can discuss, but I guess this will be part one of our interview tone talk series for the exiting 2020, the worst year ever. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. And let's get the music business back on track so we can... Uh, you know, everybody can be enjoying themselves better again. Well, the whole world back on track. The whole world, yes, exactly. Well, the music business is more important than the whole world, but... It is. To some people. <laughs> okay. All right. Peace out. Later, guys.